U.S. President Joe Biden has urged Iran not to attack Israel. Biden told reporters at the White House on Friday that he expects Iran will attack Israel sooner than later. Asked what message he had to Tehran, the U.S. president said don't. He reiterated his country's commitment to the defense of Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel, we will help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed, the president said. Biden's statement comes after Israel was subjected to missile fires from the territory of Lebanon where Iran-affiliated Hezbollah is stationed. How imminent do you think an attack on Israel is from Iran, Mr. President? I want to get a security operation. My expectation sooner than later. What's your message, Mr. President? Mr. President, Mr. President to Iran right now. Mr. President, what is your message to Iran in this moment? Don't. Are American personnel and assets at risk, Mr. President? Mr. President, are, are American troops at risk as well? We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. Thank you very much. What would trigger a direct U.S. response, sir? Iran and Chinese drones are overwhelming U.S. warships. While America leads the way in high-end, exquisite military hardware, powers like Iran and China are churning out large numbers of low-cost attack drones to overwhelm these weapons. According to popular mechanics, America's opponents know that missiles are effective, but they simply aren't sustainable in the long run. Paul Shar, Executive Vice President and Director of Studies at the Center for a New American Security, a Washington-based defense think tank, has been warned that current weapons quickly become unaffordable against massed drones. Taking out a $1,000 drone with a million-dollar missile is not a cost-effective solution, Shar tells Popular Mechanics. Such drones force warships to expend munitions, which could leave them open to attacks from larger anti-ship missiles. But not shooting down the drones is not an option. The goal of our potential opponents is to send over large numbers of cheap drones to deplete our kinetic arsenals. Andrew Lowery, CEO of the Los Angeles, California-based high-tech weapons maker Epirus, tells Popular Mechanics. That's why his company developed an alternate approach, a nearly unstoppable microwave weapon. The U.S. Navy's current long-range air defense missile is the SM-6 standard missile, costs over $3 million. It's overkill against a 400-pound drone puttering along at 100 miles per hour, costing just a few thousand dollars. The next level of defense is the medium-range evolved Sea Sparrow missile. This costs $1.5 million a shot. The high costs means the U.S. Navy only acquires these missiles in small numbers intended for defense against attack aircraft and anti-ship missiles. As such, the latest Navy budget includes just 125 SM-6 and 145 Sea Sparrow missiles. The Houthi rebels attack with basic low-cost drones imported from Iran and assembled locally in garage workshops. The Iranians are not the only threat. China has a formidable drone force and is developing swarming attack drones to aid in a possible invasion of Taiwan. Tens or hundreds of drones could attack simultaneously, far too many for existing defenses to cope with. Lowery says their technology has a proven, publicly demonstrated ability to counter swarming drones. U.S. warns of imminent Iranian major missile or drone strike on Israel. The promised Iranian retaliation for the Israeli attack on Tehran's consulate in Damascus is likely in the next 24 to 48 hours, anonymous U.S. officials told Bloomberg. Two generals of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Quds Force, were killed in the Israeli airstrikes on April the 1st, which for the first time targeted an internationally protected diplomatic mission. The Israeli military has been on heightened alert for possible attacks from Iran in the aftermath of the assassination, although it has not publicly claimed responsibility for the deadly Damascus strike. The Israeli defense forces have been preparing for a possible strike from Tehran by boosting air defenses, jamming GPS and cancelling leave for soldiers in combat units. There has been a widespread expectation that Iran would refrain from reprisal until the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Speaking, as Muslims celebrated the feast of Eid al-Fitr, Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said that Israel must and shall be punished for what it did. Major missile or drone strikes are now imminent. Bloomberg reported citing people familiar with the Israeli, US and Allied intelligence reports. 
They will likely be carried out by either Iran directly or its allies such as the Lebanon-based Hezbollah, the anonymous source said. The U.S. is helping Israel with planning and sharing intelligence assessments, the sources said. West Jerusalem is reportedly waiting for the Iranian attack before it launches a ground offensive against the city of Rafa in Gaza. Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Kadz said that West Jerusalem would respond in kind if the attack on Israel comes from Iranian territory. Several media outlets reported on Tuesday that Israel has been preparing to target Iran's nuclear facilities. The U.S. has publicly promised Israel support against an Iranian attack, including helping shoot down the incoming missiles. Washington has reportedly also floated the idea of taking part in any Israeli counter-strikes. We do not rule out launching joint retaliatory strikes with Israel if it is attacked by Iran or its agents, an unnamed U.S. official told Al Jazeera Arabic.